Okay, we were talking about detail in 1-6 scale weapons, and that's pretty cool. Obviously, here we have an MG-34 with the infantry barrel. We also have the armored barrel for the remote MG-34 and the Hetzer. There's the ammo drum. That's a whole belt of ammo in there. That drum opens up. I'll get to each weapon individually in a second. Here's an MG-42 that can be drum or belt fed. The barrel comes out of that one. Uh, this officer's got a Sturmgewehr 44 strapped to his back. Now that the magazine comes out, but that's pretty much his only function. He's also got the uh, spare ammo or, you know, spare magazine carrier. This guy's got another MG34 and a spare a ammo magazine. He's carrying a potato masher. They make some pretty cool pistols too, both the Luger and the P38 which have some pretty cool functions, if we can focus. I put that damn line on the video. <laughs> that was... Uh, there we go. There's a P38. That's uh, like a stiletto type switchblade. The Luger. On both pistols, the uh, action works and the magazine comes out. On this one, the action slides, the hammer cocks, the magazine comes out. Those are spare ammo clips for the uh, bolt action uh, 98, which is right here. And then I have no idea what rifle this is. Uh, maybe the Highlander can tell us. I got a couple other rifles that I can't identify, and this one I can't, I don't know if this is an MP38 or an MP40, and to be honest, I don't know how to tell the difference. Another Sturmgewehr 44. And then I kind of inherited a curio cabinet, and I didn't really have anything else nice to put in it, so I put some 1-6 scale figures in it, and these, these are two, like, mountain troopers. But this guy's got a sniper rifle. Now, now, I don't know if that's just a 98 with a scope or what. Again, maybe the Highlander can tell us. But some of the detail on this stuff that come... I've also... I uh, guess what that is. <laughs> oh, it shoots these. It doesn't really shoot them, but you, you get the picture. Anti-tank mine, I think. Possibly anti-personnel. Uh, this guy's rifle is over on the bench. This guy has got what I think is a... I'm not even going to guess on what's behind him. I don't remember. Don't get me to lying. I thought it was a good use for the curio cabinet, though. You might remember this, the 148 scale S33. That's the tank that started it all. I built that in 2011. And then got bigger and more mobile. <laughs> so anyway, let's uh, stop dicking around with that mention that this radio is PG-13. Right? Okay, like I said, the Sturmgewehr 44 is uh, pretty cool. The only function on it, though, really is the magazine pops out. The MP-38 or 40, whichever it may be, the magazine is removable. And the stock will unfold. Don't smack the tripod while you're making videos, stupid. Very cool little piece. Um, on the unidentified rifle, its only function is that the magazine is removable. Standard 98 has uh, no functions. Nicely molded piece, though. Now the pistols, the uh, P-38, the magazine is removable, the hammer cocks, the slide is movable. I mean, that's pretty cool for a model piece. I mean, I had a lot of G.I. Joe stuff when I was young, but nothing like this. I was in a G.I. Joe in the 60s when he was young, and uh, they had some really cool stuff, but man, the Luger, the action works,
the magazine is removable. And on the little stiletto, <laughs> it's actually pretty cool. Now it's got a spare blade on it. I'm I'm not sure uh, you know exactly the function on that. I think this is some kind of paratrooper knife for uh, that they would carry, you know, in case they like landed in a tree or something and needed to cut parachute strouds. And they, uh, the blade does retract. I don't push it in all the way because I'm afraid I might not be able to get it back out. <laughs> There's no spring in there or anything. But and it has a ridiculously long lanyard. But uh, it came with the uh, Fallschirmjager, if I got that right, probably not. But anyway, uh, the two machine guns, the ammo drum will fit both. And it's you can open it, and there's an entire belt of ammo in there that you could remove if you wanted to. And it does attach to the side of the MG34 which has the foldable bipod legs and the cover opens and you can you know put your drum on there even the charging handle is spring loaded and works the sight is foldable somewhat on the MG34 and the entire barrel is removable they really put some detail into these things. On the MG34, again, the bipod legs are foldable. I'm pretty sure you're supposed to be able to take the ammo drum off, but it doesn't want to come off, and I'm not going to force it because I don't want to break it. But the uh, cover does open on this one. And I have, you can put, uh, you can put these spare rounds across there and then close the cover if you so desire another feature on the MG42 is this <laughs> is that just too cool for a toy machine gun or what man Is that just too cool? <laughs> I mean, that's detail. I'll take the armored barrel for the Hetzer, and uh, when I put the muzzle on, I'll drill that out, and I'll put an LED flash in that one, and uh, have that remote controlled on the Hetzer. So there's a little look at some 1-6 scale weapons. I think they're pretty cool as far as detail goes. Hope you enjoyed it. We'll see you next time.